Hello and welcome to the seventh video series of Terraform. So in today's session, I will be demonstrating about TFAD file in Terraform. So why do we use Terraform? So basically, in simple word, you can say this is a advanced version of variable dot TF file. So what are the challenges we we are were facing if we were using variable dot TF file? So see variable dot TF file we were writing. In one of our previous video you know right how to watch how to write this so there we were providing uh, like see let me walk you through a lab so that you will have a better understanding so this is this is our one of the previous code in the fifth video we have seen this so how to write variable so suppose I want to uh, this AMI instance AMI ID we want to variableize so what we were doing we were just simply writing variables okay along with that we were providing what ami anything any logical name if you want to provide you can provide so this is the default value in the default we were providing this right just take this okay let me remove the unwanted lines here and how we were passing the variable simply this var dot ami it has given me right so this is the this is how we were defining the variable right along with that we can write the type of the variable we were writing like this this is a type of string and this along with that you can write uh, the, a description as well so that people can understand what what this means Correct instance AMI. So this is what this was the overall scenario, like how we were defining the variable. Suppose so t why tfvar file came in picture, right? So what will be the folder structure? So see, currently I have just main.tf file, right? So along with that, we were we were having variables dot tf file, correct? And what we were doing, we were passing these values to this variables.tf. Okay, so that is fine. And today's session, I will be telling you about how to write a tfvar file. So why tfvar file came in picture? So see, like this, you are writing the variable. So if you will write a tfvar file, so you can directly pass this name directly. Okay along with that for multiple like you you sometimes you have you want to use the same code for testing sometimes you want to use the same code code for your dev environment your production environment then you can make use of that file right so let's see i am going to create one tfvar file so you can name it anything okay this is done and here see the magic directly take this name and go to this file and ami equals to pass the value whatever value you want to pass any other value also you can pass so just for testing purpose i am using this so see directly i have passed this value here so what is the scenario like see if you will not pass from tfvar file then it will take the value from this variable file that that's why that is why it is written as default okay if you will passing this value from this tfvar file then definitely it is going to choose your this file correct so suppose you someday you have a you want the same code for like testing you will write you will pass you can pass your own value here directly ami equals to you are you want to test for some other instance you can directly make use of that right if you want to make use of uh, like for dev environment so you will create one more tf file tfvar file for dev environment right so like this you can have okay so let me delete 
so right now i am going for this terraform the tf var file so in the same way you can directly pass your all values so let's go ahead and let's uh, variableize all the things so what is the instance type and all variable this is done now you have to pass the variable here so make sure that you are professionally de uh, defining this variable as well right without defining a variable you can't directly go to your tf var file and declare the value no first you have to declare this value and provide you can't you if you don't want you can you can leave this empty but at the time of running the code it will ask you for the value so make sure that you are passing the value as well so once this is done uh, okay see this is the subnet subnet id let's variable subnet id default equals to this is done now let's call it subnet id okay so this is done let's take these all values and let's go to our variable.tf file here we can directly paste okay fine so now these all variable you can pass you can pass in tfr as well so how to pass it, uh, this so what was the variable name same variable name you have to pass okay make sure that you are following this approach so this is my variable name and this is the value i want to pass again this is the variable name and what was the value go back and pass here okay so this is done so like this you can make use of tf var file so thing suppose suppose you have defined a variable here right like this subnet id correct and here i am i am not going to provide this okay okay so i am not going to provide this subnet id here i don't want that so what will happen if you are not passing any value then it will go to the variable it will check do i have any default value and it will execute the code uh, for, uh, with this okay but if you want to pass some specific subnet okay you don't want sometime you don't want to define your uh, use your default value okay in for your production environment environment you you want to use some other subnet right so you will pass your other subnet id here you will pass your own instance type you will pass your own ami instance okay for the dev environment same for the testing also you will have some different different value so by looking to the value only you can easily identify what are the required variable i have to pass okay suppose and second thing what you have to consider remember like see if you want to use any variable any variable here in the tfr file make sure that you are defining it as a variable here okay and if you are defining a variable make sure that you are passing any value if you will not pass it here right so while executing the data form in it or plan or apply it will ask you to pass the value i think in the uh, plan only it will ask you right so this was the whole scenario like this simply you can create a dev prod and all and so this is the main use of your terraform the ta verifier so now let's go ahead and you can name it anything it's not like you are writing here terraform.tf var file only but see dot the extension of the file is will be same always either you can write your tf var also that is also okay okay but in the previous 
you can uh, type any value no problem you can write dev.tavr file and all everything okay so let's go ahead and let's run the template So this time Terraform will pick up all the value from your terraform.tf var file instead of variables. So the values you are not passing in terraform.tf var file by default it will go to the variable and it will pick up the default value. And if you are passing from here so it will take directly from here. Okay. So I can show you let's do one thing. Uh, see in the here you are passing as t2 micro right and but as a production environment i don't need a t2 micro right it is very it is of very small size what i want i want to pass it as a as a t2 medium fine so this console should show me this time this t2 medium right it should not show me this by default one correct so right now what it is showing let's see the size um, so this is t2 micro like earlier we have passed t2 micro let's go ahead and let's plan it again okay okay so it should now take let's go up see now it is taking instead of your uh, variable.tf default value it is taking the value we are passing from tf aware file right okay so let me make the changes to micro itself and let's deploy this in this resource data form So this was all about your tf file thanks for watching let's see you in the next video